Hello, this is Anthony Maiko of Org Data, uh, and this is a very quick demonstration of some of the basic functionality within Tivoli Common Reporting. And what you're looking at at the moment is the Tivoli Common Reporting portlet for version 2.1 of Tivoli Common Reporting, uh, which is delivered through the Tivoli Integrated Portal. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the Report Studio, which is the tool which we use for creating new reports or customizing or modifying existing reports. This is all delivered through a browser so there's no software that needs to be installed on your local desktop. So I'll go ahead and create a new report um, based on a blank template. So in the top left hand corner here we have um, the data model which basically contains all the bits of data that's available to us to add to our report. And this is quite a fundamental part of the uh, Tibli Common Reporting tool in that um, it means as a report author, I don't have to have any knowledge whatsoever about how the actual data is stored out in the, the external database. Um, so I don't need to know whether it's DB2 or Oracle. I don't need to know anything about the underlying schema um, or the table structure or anything like that. And I don't even need to know how to write a SQL query. And that's something that's uh, handled by TCR completely for us. Um, the Report Studio does provide the ability to actually write direct SQL queries if you particularly need to, um, but generally it's usually just a case of um, selecting the bits of data that you want from the data model and adding them to the report. Um, so for the purpose of this demonstration, um, I'll create a report that um, shows, say, uh, processor utilization for Windows servers in our state. So I'll start off by having a block and a list. So a list is just a sort of a table structure which we can use to uh, display data. And then it's just a case of going through um, the data model to select the bits of information that we're after. So I'm going to start off with a date. Um, and let's go with a fully qualified host name. And then let's start looking at what data is made available via the, uh, the Windows OS agent. So I'm going to work with some daily summarized data, I think. And if we look down we can see our processor information so I'm going to take the uh, processor ID and then the minimum maximum and average processor time metrics again it's just a case of selecting them and dragging and dropping them onto the report page and I can do a preview of the report and we can now see uh, that's the data that's coming back from the Tivoli data warehouse so for example here on the 24th of August in 2011 for a Hong Kong server, I can see for the aggregate processor ID of total, at a minimum percent processor time of zero, a maximum of 100, and just an average of uh, just over 6% for that whole day. So by uh, dragging and dropping those data items onto the report page, um, Cognos has actually gone ahead and, and built a query for me um, but what I can do is start to perhaps finesse that query. So for example, I may decide that within the report I'm only interested in the aggregate processor instance. So I can put a filter on to only show that data. So the filter to show the processor ID is equal to the total instance. And if I do a quick preview, you can now see that I'm only showing that information. And likewise, I can put a filter in to only show information from a specific host. So let's say Hong Kong. Again, if I preview, I can now only see data for that particular host. So I go back to my report page. I can extend the report by including, say, a chart. Again, I'm going to drop in another block. Uh, a bit of a margin on that one just to separate it from the uh, table. Drop a chart in and select the chart we want. Uh, so I'm going to go for a basic line chart. I'm just going to center that and center that table as well within its block. 
and we need to bind the chart to our data query which is query one and I'm also going to uh, change the size of that chart slightly so I'm going to go for 600 by 800 and then it's just a case of uh, adding the data to the chart that we're interested in displaying so I'm going to go with the data along the bottom and then average percent processor time as one of my series if I preview the chart and the reports as a whole see we've now got some data in there along with our original table a further way of developing the report will be to add something called a prompt page which will let our uh, report users actually specify some criteria which should be reflected in the report contents so for example at the moment we've got a hard-coded reference to that Hong Kong server um, but what we can do is provide the users with a prompt to let them select the particular server that they want to report against so we can just build that up and we use a value prompt to provide the user with the drop-down box of all the servers that are available select the piece of data which should be populated in that prompt so again we're going to go with that fully qualified host name so when I preview the report now you get a drop down box with all the servers that are defined within the data warehouse now as we're only working uh, we're only sharing data for our Windows servers we need to refine that query slightly so that um, it just reports our Windows servers can do that by putting a filter around the agent type so if I preview the report again now see we've just got a subset of uh, four Windows servers which is great the next thing we need to do is go back to our original data query so by adding that parameterized filter can see that Cognos has automatically added in a new filter to our data query to reference the particular value that's provided by the user which means that this filter here is no longer needed or valid so we can delete that so if I go back to my report page I can add in another block and a text item which we'll use just to display the name of the server which the report relates to use a report expression to do that and the report expression will reference the value of the parameter and center that and make it bold and also put a margin around that so now when I run the report can select Hong Kong server again see our report expression gets populated with the value of the server and again we show data for our Hong Kong server if I rerun the report this time select a different server see now showing a different amount of data Another way we could extend the report is to include some extra information. So, say for example, I'm also interested in memory utilization as well as uh, processor. So I can go and find the, uh, the memory data. It's available to me. Um, say for example, let's have a look at this available usage percentage as well. So again, I'm going to take the minimum, the maximum, and the average, and I can just drag. drop that onto the end of my list and I'm going to add that into my chart as well so if I run that select Hong Kong my chart is now showing both the uh, memory and 
process the utilization information and same with the table as well. Okay, so that concludes the, uh, the very quick demonstration. I hope it's useful.